to come in because we're going to have some good old teen talk for all my teens out there who are struggling with their confidence. Um, and this is so a uh, big question that I always get all the time and a big thing that I realize that teens are really dealing with when it comes to confidence and who they are. And so if someone asked me a question one day, they said, Ariel, how do you stay confident all the time? Like, I, I need whatever you have that makes you stay confident. And let me tell you, okay? There is not one person in the world who's always 100% confident. And if they say that they are, they're lying, okay? No one's ever 100% confident, but I am going to help you and guide you on how to maintain confidence and how to build your confidence if you are struggling with who you are as an individual, okay? Um, so let's dive into this talk uh, about how to stay confident. Number one, the first thing that I want to tell you is that Identify your pain point. Identify why you aren't confident in, wh in who you are. Because sometimes I meet kids um, or teens who just say, well, I just hate everything about myself. Like, everything. Okay, but, like, what is it? Like, tell me exactly what is it. So know what's causing you to feel not confident. And this could be um, anything about you. It could be your attitude. It could be your personality. It could be your emotions. Maybe it could be your physical state things about you, it could be your behavior. What is it that's making you not feel confident? And what I call these are insecurities, okay? Insecurities are something that, uh, it's a trait of yourself that causes you to have a lack of confidence. And insecurity is what I call daily downer thoughts. They are things that come in your head every single day that make you question yourself and feel bad about who you are and who you were, how you were created. And so these daily downer thoughts um, literally can destroy yourself academically, um, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, because they're coming in your mind every single day and they're causing you to feel down about who you are. And we're going to counterattack these daily downer thoughts because I cannot stand insecurities. And one thing that I've learned about insecurities in my years of growing up is that insecurities are like a balloon, okay? They are very small, but we tend to blow them up to make them bigger than what they actually really are. And so I know right now the insecurity that you are dealing with or that you're going through seems so large, but I'm here to tell you that years from now, these are going to be the smallest things ever. And, and, and they literally right now could be the smallest things ever, but you can own your own insecurity, okay? So know what is causing you pain. What is it that you don't, you don't like about yourself? Because some of these things we can change, and some of the th these things we can't change. But regardless of the matter is, identify what are your insecurities. So is it your attitude? Is it that you don't like your teeth? Is it that your eyes are too big? Is it you don't like your skin color? Um, is it you think you're fat? You think you're too skinny? You think you're weak? You think you're too strong? You think you're too buff? What is it about you that you don't like about yourself? And so what I'm going to do is teach you how to counterattack those things. So write it down, literally. Yes, you're going to do some homework, teens, while you're watching this. Get a pen and paper and write down the things that you do not like about yourself so that you know and that you can identify it. Um, so number two is, one, if there's things that you don't like about yourself, you got to have patience, okay? So one, identify what's calling you to feel pain, but then also know that you have to have patience because your body and who you are is always evolving. Your journey is always evolving. And so you gotta have patience with yourself. Don't get so down upon yourself right now in this day and age, especially if people continue to keep attacking you in this area. Keep People keep just pinpointing you in this area. So for example, when I was your age, one of my insecurities was that um, all my family used to call me evil. And they would say that I was always so mean. And this became a part of who I am. So I would always give the evil look. I would always have an attitude. I would always not say good morning to people because they just kept putting that in me, kept putting that in me, kept putting that in me. And we gotta be so mindful of the words that we allow to come into our ear. And so for me, it took a journey for me to be able to even now give this video to you and not be so mean all the time because that's what people put inside of me. So even though that we put things in ourselves, we gotta have patience with ourselves to know that we're on a journey and that we're going through a process and that we do not have to be at our final destination or our final state right now at this moment. So have patience with yourself if your insecurity is your behavior or maybe your affect about who you are, but also have patience with yourself if your insecurity is something physical because your skin and your body is always going to change. Where you are right now is not where 
you need to be. And I know this is very tough teens because the way that we all evolve in our lives, I feel like it's between 11, maybe like 10 years old and 14, maybe, you know, 15 that we go through like a really ugly stage. Like it's just nothing about us that looks too cute. Like I remember my teeth used to be all messed up. Your skin would be crazy. Like I just feel like we go through that funky, ugly stage. And we have those few kids that look good, but a lot of us are going through changes because our bodies, our hormones are always changing. So you may start getting acne. You, you may start getting older, right? You may start feeling like you're funky. I used to have horrible odor where like, it used to be yellow armpit stains underneath my white shirts. Like that's just, how I was as now is it like that today no <laughs> so it's not like that today right so you gotta have patience with your body patience with who you are because you're going to go through these through these normal motions of human transitions okay it's naturally human for everyone to go through these transitions and so you got to be patient don't try to change it right away and I'll talk to you about um, not trying to change it um, number three is perfection one thing that you got to know when it comes to being confident is that perfection doesn't exist, okay? And if you think that perfection exists, then you're crazy. You are never going to be perfect. There is nothing that's going to be about you that you are always going to feel that you are 100% confident and perfect. And this is why I tell people all the time, do not aim to be flawlessly perfect, but be perfect in your flaws, okay? Or be flawless in your imperfections. So do not aim to be flawlessly perfect, but be flawless in your imperfections. Because your imperfections are there to remind you that you were never created to be perfect. And so for you, your insecurities are always going to be a reminder that God did not create you to be this perfect human being. And I know for me, I used to get down on myself like, oh my God, I don't like my teeth. I don't like all these different things about me. But I had to start embracing my insecurities because if God didn't give me these insecurities, I would have probably been very cocky. I would have thought that I was the best looking person in the world. And so there's a couple things that I want to show you about what I went through when it came to my insecurity and how I wasn't patient with myself and my process and what I used to do. So this is one picture that I have of myself that I'll show you and I'll pop up on the screen if you can't see it. But this is the only picture that I have of myself of being ugly when I was about, I think I was like maybe 13 or 12. And I literally wrote in the back, this is ugly. This is the only picture I have of myself in this state. And this is how I felt about myself at this age because I had a really bad accident where I fell off my bike. I don't know if you can see this. And I chipped my teeth like super duper bad. And I also had a really dark spot underneath my eye, which is still there. I actually covered up with makeup. And this dark spot came out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from, but it was uh, it's underneath my eye here. And then when I fell on my bike, I chipped my two front teeth and I had rainbow teeth. And for me, these became my two major insecurities when I was growing up um, that was about me physically. And the reason why I say that you have to be patient with yourself is because for me, when I got into high school, this insecurity about my eye, I blew up to be so much bigger than what it was that I actually decided to have laser surgery when I was 16 years old. And I would leave school, I would leave high school, and I would go to a plastic surgeon's office and I would pay for laser surgery where they would shoot fire at my face just to burn my skin off to get rid of this insecurity. And I wasted tons of money, y'all tons of money because my mama didn't pay for this and so this is because i decided to let this affect me so much and so what happened was is that i end up now having a scar because we didn't know what we were doing and by we i mean me and the doctor didn't know how to work with african-american skin and so now i had a scar from the fire which made this uh mark even worse even when i covered up with makeup you could still see the scar and so this is why it's so important that you do not focus so much on trying to be perfect and taking away um, everything that you do not like about yourself or trying to change it. Because guess what? God is not a God of mistakes. When we were born, we did not say, do we want to be black? Do we want to be white? Do we want to be Asian? We did not say, do we want to be big? Do we want to be skinny? These things we did not ask God for. And God did not give it to you because he's a God of mistakes. And when you focus so much on being perfect and changing things about you, it's like saying, God, you messed up when you created me. Like something you didn't do was right. And you may did right with somebody else, but for me, you, you made a couple mistakes. And God is not a God of mistakes, okay? So however he created you, however he made you, 
he did that so that your body on who you are as an individual can be able to be used to present yourself to the world to impact another generation that is very similar to yourself okay so do not get so down about the insecurities which brings me to the last point of knowing um when it comes to being staying confident you have to be confident in your personality all right your personality is where your true confidence lies not necessarily in your physical appearances but who you are as an individual and i'm going to leave this story with you all before we close that i had one young guy that i was mentoring and he um had his insecurity that he wrote down was his anger and his attitude and he would show up to, every, to school every day with this mad face and he would just be like mm, like angry as a rock literally and so when we did this lesson of insecurities he would normally would not participate but he wrote down his insecurity was his attitude and so what I had him do was I said you know you're gonna punch this insecurity and he was like really and I said yeah you're gonna punch the wall and you're gonna punch this insecurity and I put the insecurity on the wall and so he punched it obviously because he always has an attitude and he said but why am I doing this and I said, because this insecurity is affecting you every single day, every single time you come to school, you, you adopt this insecurity, you let this daily downer thought oversaturate your mind and your body and affect who you are as an individual. And I tell y'all from that one moment, that kid did that the next day, he was like a brand new kid. I mean, he was smiling and he was like happy to see me and telling like his granddad about me. Like I was very perplexed, but I was able to see his personality. And for all this time, I, he was so focused on his pain. He was so focused on him having an attitude. He was letting this insecurity attack him every day that he never showed the world what his true personality was, or at least me. And so now I'm able to get to know him him and love on him even the more because I get to know who he is because his personality is where his true confidence lies so I want you to know that in your personality in your laughter in your love in your silliness in your kindness in your strength in your um, gifts and talents is where your true confidence lies not in your insecurities and not in your physical things that you get down upon yourself about but it's in your personality there's power in your personality and guess what that's where you're gonna find your confidence so I'm glad that you watch this video if you have any questions about how to overcome that specific insecurity that you are dealing with definitely feel free to inbox me and give me those questions so that I can help you even further more on your journey so thank you for watching follow me on social media at hey Ari Speak and as always subscribe to the channel and tell other people to subscribe to other teams talk to you guys later bye bye